been about 15 minutes since I talked to you about the fence and uh, I was seeing no sign of agate whatsoever it just dried up and so I figured I'm gonna get up out of that ridge I was on kept hiking hiking not seeing anything figured well I must be getting up higher to find it so now I just started busting up high and what do I find so I guess down low maybe not be the answer anyway so I guess I won't cry too much about the fence just some flow agate but it's got some neat betroidal bumps on it but it's agate so yay <laughs> get back on the right ridge Alrighty, I got up on the ridge top. This little flat up here is absolutely covered in flow agate, limb cast, petrified wood. And oh, there was a neat one here I thought I'd show you real quick. I don't know how big it's going to be or if it's worth anything, but it's petrified wood. Let me see if I can find it here. But the way it's just sticking out. Looks pretty neat. I love the mystery. It could be four inches long or a foot. You never know. Let's find out. Oh. Pretty cool. That's a real pristine piece of petrified wood. Neat. Okay, we've got a couple neat ones here. This one's just a little guy poking out of the bush there. But there's that one. Almost completely hidden. I don't know what it is yet, but I can see agate poking out a couple different directions there. So let's see if we can get it out here. Yeah. It's really stuck. It's going to break my stick. Yeah, I'm going to have to use my hands. Um, this is where my camera artwork goes really bad. I'll try and keep it going here. Zoom out a little bit. Oh, yeah. Oh, good grief. Oh, my word. Well, that just made the bonus rock of the day and the whole trip worth, worth it. Look at that. Awesome. Oh my goodness. Look at the neat cavern with the betroidal agate in it. Little crystals down in the bottom. Look at that. Full round. I think that's probably my best limb cast ever. That is absolutely awesome. I can't wait to get that cleaned up. How cool is that? Yay! Oh, I just pulled out another bonus rock. It's about five minutes after finding that big huge one a second ago. And uh, this one had just this little flex sticking out. Just like that. Ended up popping it out. And it's a whole limb cast again. Very nice. See all the wood grain? Here's where a knot was. Oops, get it back in the camera for you. Anyway, here's where a knot was. That is really neat. Bonus. Okay, I wanted to give you a little example of just how localized this agate can be. This spot right here, you cannot not see agates everywhere. You go right there, you couldn't find an agate to save your life. It's just that much different. They just have these little outcroppings where this little bonanza, I think we'll call this one cowbone. I don't know why it just came to me. I'm kind of creative that way. Anyway, this area, there are literally agates everywhere, just flowing out of the ground. And right there, nothing. 
That's what makes it fun. That's why it's hunting, not finding. Just found a neat one sticking out of the dirt here. It doesn't wiggle real easy, but we'll see what happens. These are the mysteries I like. You never know how big they're going to be. Oh. All right. That's a neat one. It's flat, but neat. It's got wood grain all the way around it. All righty. I'm back up at the top of the ridge now. I think I'm only about half a mile from my truck. And, uh, Came across this little rock. I almost didn't pick it up. I don't think it's a uh, that goes all the way through, but the petroidal agate on top was really neat. So I thought I'd carry it out anyway. It looks cool. Yeah, I'm almost back to the truck. Came across a neat one. I thought it was just a chunk, but when I tried to wiggle it, it doesn't wiggle. So we're gonna see if we can't get it out of here. Without breaking my stick. Oh, there it wiggled. This is the fun part. I love it when they don't wiggle. Oh, it's looking nice. Oh. Very nice. Kind of queer, got a little pink hue to it. Definite limb casting. Look, see the grain down in there? Wood grain. There's your outer bark. That'd be really neat. Polish a window in that so you can see the agate real nice. Bonus. I thought I was kind of done for the day. Good way to end. Okay, well that wraps up my two-day limb cast trip. Hope you enjoyed it. If you are still watching, um, I thank you. I apologize for my shoddy camera work. I hope to get better. But anyway, I want to say real quick that if, uh, if we want to keep enjoying the natural world like this, we have to remember that we are the ambassadors of everybody that comes after us. So we always have to follow the laws, respect property lines. Um, there's always opportunity to pack out more than you pack in. There's trash all, everywhere. But other than that, um, thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed it. Now I'm going to see if I can't uh, four-wheel out of here without getting a flat tire. Okay, thank you. Thank you.